Okay, folks, welcome back. This is the fourth teaching of eight of the November 2016 content for the ICT Mentorship. Okay, we're going to talk about some anticipatory skill sets, and one of the skill sets that I teach is using the monthly chart, but this teaching is going to be specifically dealing with um, using institutional order flow to help you find new setups. When we look at the monthly chart, uh, first thing you gotta remember is remind yourself that the monthly chart is only gonna move with a great deal of money behind these price swings. Uh, retail is not, not gonna have it. The idea of seeing big ranges on a monthly chart, that's gonna be a result of enormous amounts of buying or selling interest by the smart money. Again, retail can't move price, so if we can see where they're most likely going to place orders to buy or sell, and we can see it on the monthly chart, we stand to make a great deal of pips, and we don't have to trade a whole lot to do it. But I want you to think about the opens, the highs, the close, and the low of every single candle on a monthly chart over the last three months. Every pair that you uh, that you have on your platform, this is a good study. Not to trade every single pair, but I want you to go back over uh, every pair that you think is um, of interest to you and have the open, high, low, and close delineated on a monthly chart over the last three months. So that would look like this. We're in November now. So here's October, September, August, and having those reference points on your chart and having those levels uh, transposed into your lower time frames, they'll bring a great deal of clarity. Now you may have a few overlapping levels like this uh, chart. We have a couple different opens and closes that are real close to proximity. That's okay. But I want you to find the most recent down candle. That would be this one here. There you go. And then prior to this, down candle what up candle exists above it so in other words if this is the down candle you got to go above its high so its high is if i can get it to show up okay the high is 3144 so we have to have an up candle or an up close candle that has at least a, a low that's higher than 3144 Obviously, it's right here. Just that quick, we've delineated a range on the monthly chart. Now, by itself, you've done a great deal already, but I know you don't believe it. You have to see it to, you know, to have faith in it. So what we've defined is the range in which we're going to trade in. If I take these two reference points and I drop them down into a weekly chart. Okay, by having it on a weekly chart, we can have a lot more information refined. And let's delineate this month here with the vertical line on the month prior to it. So now we have a down candle to the right of this vertical red line. So we're looking at June. This is June having a down close. So if we go into a daily chart, I'm sorry, a weekly chart, okay? We have price still in the long-term consolidation, many weeks going by here. And these two down candles here, price trades through it on this candle here. So now we have activated two, two down candles as a bullish order block. We have upside movement here. It violates the two down candles. So now we can see price return back down into it. It would be a bullish scenario. Notice also that the monthly candle at 130.70, we'll call it 130.80. We'll just round it to 130.80. That's close enough for government work. Price drops down into that a couple different times. And you see price is expanded. Now the upside is still 
that monthly parish order block. It's also the beginning of the last three candles that were up. It's the same as this up candles low. You can see price and you can probably already visualize it reaching for this and probably going into next uh, week or the week after. Um, we'll probably see, see more con uh, continuation on the upside. Uh, we go into a daily chart. Okay, you can see the vertical lines delineate each month. You see price dipping down into that monthly open that we rounded up to 130.80. Price responds aggressively off of that. And then we have the beginning of this decline here in October. And this is the reason why, and it sounds like hindsight, if you're watching this without having the benefit of being a part of the live sessions and watching the recordings over the last, last week. Um, but we looked at 132.80 as a downside objective. And the reason why that was objective was based on these two down candles here. And the fact that we are looking for higher prices relative to what's been shown on the monthly. Okay. So we see price retreating back into this down candle multiple times right here on this one. And then ultimately retreating down into the higher level 3280 level. you can see price expanding on the upside so we're looking for 138 big figure and potentially higher than that the takeaway is this if you look at your monthly charts okay and you define where you're at presently in the range all you have to do is find the most recent down candle and the most recent up candle and there's your range if you get the market trade above a down candle, you wait for a return back to that down candle to trade up into the last up candle. If you have a market trade up into a up candle, you find the last down candle or most recent down candle, which will be over here. That would be your range for the downside. So we have still have upside still to go for dollar cad on a monthly basis. Let's look at this same example of study on a US Japanese yen pair. Okay, we have the most recent uh, down candle here. And prior to this down candle, you have to have a candle that's higher than the candle's high, which is 104.35. So above here to the left, where's the up candle? It's here. There's your range. So between 106.28 and 103.26. So basically 300 pips. The idea is as soon as this candle trades above, the down candle's high, this down candle becomes a bullish order block. So we can be a buyer at 103.26 or less. We drop into a weekly chart. Here's price trading below 103.26. And again here on the US election, trading down into the bullish order block here. We go into a daily chart.
see the body of this down candle. It's larger than this one here. So this is the beginning of the bullish order block. It's here. And mean threshold of this down candle would be about right here. And it's not even challenged at all here, even on the election uh, knee jerk reaction. So price dips down into it here. This would be a buy. It starts to rally away. Then the next candle opens on the election, trades down into previous bullish order block. This would be another buy and rallying away. We have old highs back here. And we have equal highs back here. On the monthly chart, this is the objective we would be reaching up to. And we've already seen that happen with 300 pips plus. Let's use Kiwi dollar. And go to a monthly. Okay, so we have the last down candle here and the most recent up candle here. Okay. And we've moved away from the last up candle, uh, exercising this as a bearish order block. We go down to a weekly. Okay, you see price trading up into bearish order block. It does trade through the body of this candle, but it's rather sloppy right now. Uh, the downside objective is 69.83, so 69.85. The body to these candles here, close comes in at 70.05, so that would probably be where I'd be looking to cover. It's about 120 pips or so. Still potential downside objective. Personally, on the side, now I think it's going to go down here to 67.80. And on a daily time frame, you can see price has, in fact, already moved a good distance. Now, this is the bearish order block up in here. So anything above that price had reached up into, we can refine that into a lower level time frame bearish order block. See it trading in here. Minimum expectation is to trade down to here. The next one would be down here. So you want to reach for that. And then below these lows. Okay, so we're using the monthly chart to give us our bullish and bearish order blocks and define our range. And then we look for lower time frames to get closer to the market and refine our risk. Use the higher time frame monthly chart. Find the most recent up candle and the most recent down candle. There's your range. Define that range in terms of where the most recent order flow has sent price. Was it violating a down close or a down candle, which gives a um, permission to become a bullish order block? Or has price broken an up candle by violating its low, which then activates that as a bearish order block. Um, you just simply look for the, the contrary in order block on the monthly chart. And you take those levels and you find them down into a weekly, into a daily, and down to an hourly chart. And you can see there's a plethora of opportunities to, to study with all these different pairs. And it gives you a context to actually look into the marketplace with a specific mindset. Not just waiting for a neon sign to jump off at you and saying, okay, um, well, I wonder what I should do today. You'll know what levels to trade off of relative to the monthly chart. And it's a, basically a top-down approach that, that leads you right into trade setups that you otherwise wouldn't know they were there.